Welcome to my channel. This is Sam and so we were caught by uh, those Alps. I was good with Mel. I did not try to kill Mel. I just. Without me, eyes are marbles. No darkness they see. Hello, Smeagol. So well behaved lately. How can I pester you now without torturing my conscience? Have the elves found her? No, I'm afraid not. I don't think there is much hope she's coming back. Face it, she used you. And then she left you behind. We warned you to keep your distance. Anyway, Neldis has asked for you. She's upstairs with her lanterns. Be so kind and pay her a visit. Time is not spent. Iris has no scent. At nothing I can marvel without you. Hello, Smeagol. Hello, nice elf. Very pretty. Am I not? It's midsummer day. We must all look our most beautiful tonight. Even you. I shall make you a wreath of laurels. Oh, you will hate it. What's she doing? Preparing lanterns for tonight. What's tonight? Tonight is midsummer night. We will all be out in the woods celebrating. Not you, perhaps. We will see. Is there something I can do for you? If the Riddle Master was alive... Ah, here we go again. I wish he were, I truly do, but I fear it was just one of Mel's dreams. He is gone, and now she is too. Nice, nice lanterns, but two of them aren't shining. Oh, yes. The children love to take my light stones up to the gardens to play. Would you not help me find them? They look like shining marbles, big as your eyes. Smeagol can help. Yes, I can find strange lights. Someone's in a good mood for a change. And the lights don't so cool. He emerged from his cocoon, and see, he was still a caterpillar. <laughs> but caterpillars are nice. Not all of them. That was the impression of 
go home. Again. <laughs> Quiet. Good. Good. That must be one of her lights. Maybe he just needs more time. I truly think he's getting better. <laughs> Quiet. Yesterday he collected shells from the river for Dove. And today he's helping Nelbis with her lights. The honorable deeds of Smeagol. I do not care if he starts writing poetry. If kindness will not help, we must find different measures. I must know what he told Gandalf. Uh, a swarm of truthlings has been visiting your gardens lately. Good. Good. Whatever it takes. Truthlings? I don't like this plan. I know. Truthlings, yes. But Mel told us how to trick them. Dwarf beard rootsies. That's what we need. Cannot be seen, cannot be felt. Here comes another riddle. The cook's lights. Perhaps the elves have seen them somewhere? Why don't you ask someone else? Badgers are very good listeners. No. Not nice elves. Not nice. Don't be upset. We're just very busy. Laila, found some. He wants to ask us, do they? What about? The precious, of course. The precious. We want it. We want it. We want it. No. No, we hate it. I hate it. How are you, Smeagol? So far from home amongst strange folk like us. No relatives. No one to talk to. You can talk to us, you know. Like friends. Friends trust each other. <laughs> yes, friends do not play nasty tricks. Yes, like that wizard. He was a very tricky old man. But the king saw right through him and sent him away. We can protect you from men like him. But see, to do so, we must know what he asked you. He asked about our birthday. Your birthday. And about flowers. Irises of the Willow Man's where Smeagol lived when he was young. Nothing else? Oh, I swear. Good elves. They are such nice friends. Very well, then. Neldis tells us that you help her with her lanterns. That's very thoughtful of you. You know, I saw the children play with one of them in the King's Garden. Oh, did you? I had to shoo them from the old tower again. I'm almost sure they left the light up there. You know, we can take you there, if you'd like. Help you find it. Nice friends. Yes, yes, they will lead the way. Good Smeagol will follow. Excellent. Let's go. Perhaps we do the task at hand. We will see what happens. We will because our feasts are not for strangers, and because your breath would gag our singers. That's just two of the many reasons why you're not invited. Keep your voice down. This is a solemn place. Let's go. 
बाद हम लोग ये खेलेंगे एक प्लानट ऑफ नाना बोल के एक Up there, in the tower, where the Beatles hum their peaceful song. That's where the children left the light. Yes, I believe so. Now it's your turn. We will wait here. Where are you going? Be careful. Do you see it? Right there where the swarm is. Don't worry, they don't bite. Yes, yes, nice beetles. <laughs> Found it. Can you hear us? I feel dizzy. Uh, now tell us, what did the wizard ask you about? Oh, one moment, beetles are humming so loud. What are you? No, wait. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Smeagol asks questions now. Where is Mel? Perhaps they know and don't tell us. They must tell us. Mel. Meliestel. Don't know where she is. She must be dead by now. All blind and alone. Poor girl. But so ill-mannered. Never liked her. But now I miss her. The Riggle Master. Now elves must tell us all they know. Gwendol. Gwendol. He knew Mel quite well. Did you know? Everyone knew. It wasn't much of a secret. Ah. Well, that explains it. I visited him once. Gwendol. He didn't know that I had entered. He was talking to his mirror. His notorious vanity, I thought. But then I heard another voice reply. From beyond the mirror, I'm quite certain it was Mel. Sounding very kind for once. So I left. So as not to disturb them. The mirror, eh? The one in the Riddle Master's rooms. Good elves, they talk so very honestly today. What are you doing? Smeagol will have a look in the mirror. Mirror, 
this
लाइट वे सॉन्ग कल मैं आप लोग को उसकी कैंसिल कर अब तेरे के लिए से कैंडल लेट Smeagol. Now my circle will be complete. Circle? A ring of protection for tonight's feast. Like the haze? If you will, but far less ambitious. A place where Mel and Riddlemaster first met. The cook knows about it, yes? You don't give up, do you? I do remember that night, the big oak in the King's Grove. It was the first time Mel was invited to one of the gatherings. Such an untamed child she was. No patience, no manners. Watch the King's Grove. Our feast will be there tonight. I could take you there if you promised to behave. Then again, you always end up disappointing me. <sighs> I am willing to trust you, if you can do what I shall ask of you. Put the missing lights inside the mantles. to do. You are getting better, I see, and a breath of fresh air will not hurt you either. 
I shall take you to the tree tonight, if that is still your wish. Come to me whenever you are ready. She will take us to the tree. Help me pack the lanterns. It used to be an old summer residence not far south of here in the mountains, abandoned hundreds of years ago. That is all I can tell you about it. Now, who told you about Karas Mindon? Just elves telling stories. I like to hear stories. Go ahead. I already warned the others about you. I will stay here and put up our lanterns. <coughs> A big tree. That must be where Mel and Riddlemaster carved their hidden picture. What has Gollum doing here? Neldis invited him. Be nice. Wow. Here he comes. Climb the tree. Yes, yes. But the friendly elves are in the way. I think it will be better if we all stay here on the ground. Don't you? Where we can all keep an eye on each other. Just in case. Hmm. A competition. A competition? If Smiggle wins, they must let him climb the tree. <laughs> but these ones don't like riddles, do they? How about a game of words? You say a word, then I say a new word that starts with the final sound from your word, and then we keep going round until it's your turn again. But here's the trick. No word can come up twice, and no word can end with the same sound as the beginning of the previous word. That's easy. Fish. Shell. Love. <laughs> Visible. Aha, you lose. No, why? Visible, love, no word can end with the same sound as the beginning of the previous word. Ah, not fair. It tells the rules too fast. <sighs> Once more, then, whatever sends you on your way. Ten seconds to answer. If you survive three rounds, you win. Fish. We already had fish. New game. It counts. Fish, fish. Well then, shell, again. Lamb. Bridge. Gibberish. Shamrock. Okay. Killjoy. Yearning. Goal. Lex. That's three rounds. He beat us. <laughs> yes, Smeagol wins. Smeagol won the tree. Go, go, step aside, good elves. Go get us something to drink, my loves. <coughs> Calm down, Drift. What's with him tonight? trying to do? Watch the moon. That would surprise me. He hates the moon. To Smeagol and the moon, let's raise a glass. To Smeagol and the moon. Oh, is he alright? Looks like it.
with this. We keeps it remembering nice cook. Oh. Uh, is he all right? Looks like it. We did the same thing again. Huh? Shame on me. If you want to understand the enemy's schemes, you need to learn about seduction. Look at Smeagol, for example. I don't know. I can't even say if he's good or ill. Good observation. And perhaps, neither could the enemy. Why is he climbing the tree? Yet another mystery. <laughs> Already past thirty, thirty-three minutes. Mm. Just need to find something. We need to start. Need a little. 
little breather. Oh, well, that's the picture. Here it is. Or is it? What is it? Deer. It's a deer. Deer with horns. We need the elvish word. What's the elvish word for deer? We can ask the elves later. Perhaps we seize the mountains from up here. He's watching the moon as it is like there's no send it. Stay tuned for more and don't forget to subscribe guys, this is it for now.